Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. We're going to go ahead and get started with our quilt series. Um, today we're going to be making two embroidery blocks and I'm going to show you how to press and cut the fabric and press and cut and, and cut the um, interfacing. But before we get to that, we're going to get to the word of the Lord. We're going to Mark chapter 1 verses 1 yeah, Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. And it reads as thus. This is the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. It began just as the prophet Isaiah had written. Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is the voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people should be baptized to show that they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. And once again, that's Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Thank you for joining me for the word of the Lord. We'll go ahead and get started with our project. Um, remember, we're going to be making... See if I can find the block. Um, we're going to be making blocks like these, but out of the fabric that I have here today. So this is going to be one of my fabrics that we're going to start with, and this is going to be one too. And this was a fat quarter, and here are there were five fat quarters in there. And here are the other three. We have this one. We have this one. And we also have this one. This one has some gold, metallic like gold on it. So we're going to go ahead and press... We're just going to make two, so we're just going to go ahead and press two of them for right now. So, I have my iron over here, and this is just an iron with some water in it. So, I'm just going to press the fabric out. And just get it pressed. Should have probably did this beforehand, but we will press it. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, enjoy the word of the Lord. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this quilt series. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be quick and easy and simple. My, my iron just has a little bit of water in it. That's it. So hopefully that's enough to get these wrinkles out. <laughs> I've had this fabric for quite a while, for a couple of years. It's just been in my stash like a lot of other stuff that I have. And these, I'm going to, today, since I'm going to only be doing embroidery, I'm not going to cut the part that I'm going to use for these. We'll come back and do these on another day. So I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to press this one for the embroidery part. And I have my embroidery machine over here, and I um, will get to that as soon as I press these two pieces. So I'm going to press that one, and I'm just going to press it enough to cut the part off that I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this one, I mean press this one too, so I can cut it as well. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Send out a message. Hopefully, my son won't call me in the middle of <laughs> filming my video because he normally calls me every day. So, I have my two fabrics cut and I'm just going to put them together and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut them. I'm going to put this down. I have a mat right here, I have a ruler. And I have a rotary cutter. Where's my rotary cutter? Oh, my 
rotary cutter fell on the ground. <laughs> and I have a rotary cutter. So I'm going to take my fabric. And I am going to just take it where I pressed it on the two sides. Because I'm only going to use a little piece of it for right now. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to cut off a six inch piece right at the fold right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to count over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you just count over six and double check. Uh, measure twice, cut once. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm just going to cut off this six inch piece right here. And as you can see, I have both of my pieces. And I cut both of the pieces. All right. So we're going to take this and put this aside for our other steps in the future. So we can put that there. And then I'm also going to cut. Um, this is our background. This is what I'm going to use for the background. And it's pretty, it's pretty pressed already. So. Let me see if I can get a good piece off of there. And I'm going to cut the background. It's going to be cut eight and a half by eight and a half. That's what size the background piece needs to be. So I'm just going to, and it's already cut, so I'm going to cut that part off that's already cut. So I'm going to just take and put this on my mat. And then that part that's um, already cut off, I'm just going to cut that off. Throw that in my scrap bin for something else. My rotary cutter got buried again. So I'm going to cut that part off. Put that in my scrap bin. And now I'm going to move this over to I get to the one inch mark. I'm moving it over to the one here's one right here and I'm going to go over eight and a half inches so I'm going to put my ruler on the eight and a half inches and then I'm going to cut this piece of fabric again with my rotary cutter and ruler right and this is just enough to get it you're going to cut all of your fabric like that but this is just enough to get us started so then I'm going to take, take that and I'm going to turn it to the other side. And there's a little salvage piece right there. I'm going to cut that salvage piece off. And then I'm going to cut this, sub cut this into eight and a half pieces, eight and a half inches. So I'm going to cut this off as well. The little salvage piece. And I don't need that. That's going to go in the trash. Then I'm going to scoot it back to the end of the board. And then I'm going to cut it at eight and a half. Cut my square at eight and a half. And then... So now this gives us an eight and a half inch square all the way around. We're going to put that to the side because when we finish with our embroidery block, we're going to put our, our embroidery on there. So then I'm going to take this other piece and I should be able to get another. So out of every strip, you should be able to get um, four blocks. Well, actually, you, should get, you can get five. So I'm going to get another one out of here. It's going to be eight and a half inches too. Don't forget that your, this is for the block, eight and a half. Now this piece right here measures about four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. But if you open it up, then it has a, it has the fold right there, but you could press this 
and get one more block. So actually out of every strip, you should be able to get five eight and a half inch blocks. So if I press that and press the little fold out, put this back on my mat, and I should be able to get one more eight and a half inch piece out of here. So I should be able to get five blocks out of one strip. So then I'll just have a little tiny piece left over, just a little tiny piece. So then we can throw that to the side. So now we have five background blocks and they're right sides together. That's the wrong side. This is the right sides. We can put them all right sides up. You should be able to tell the right side from the wrong side on your fabric. but we don't need these pieces right this very moment. We will in a minute. So we can put these to the side. Now we're gonna take these strips. These are the ones that we're gonna use for our embroidery. And we've cut them six inches already. And let's see, I made up myself a note. I'm gonna cut it six by um, the circle fabric. I'm gonna cut it six by eight and a half to just lay it in the hoop. So it's already cut at the six inches and it has a salvage on it too. But you don't really have to worry about that because you won't get all the way to the bottom of that. So we're gonna take this and cut eight and a half inches off of that. Let's see, where did our little hoopy go? Let's see. Nope, that wasn't the right, that wasn't right. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, so our circle fabric was going to be um, it needs to be a little bit longer. Let's see. Let's go. I'm just going to fit it in the hoop. So let's go by about nine inches. Let's go nine. So we're going to cut this six by nine. That should be thick enough. So let's see, I'll put that in the hoop once we get ready. Yeah, that should be big enough. Six by nine. So these pieces, we're going to subcut six by nine. And this is going to be what we're going to use for the circle. So we'll just put those two to the side. And then we have enough to do two more. So every strip that we cut six by six inches, we should be able to get two circle blocks out of. So... Let's see. So now this is our this is our interfacing. And it's this is um fusible. So it's bumpy on this side and it's smooth on this side. And so we're gonna cut this to be um ten by twelve. So if we take it and unroll it, and if we go ahead and cut it twelve inches first. Our first cut, make it 12 inches. Then we can cut it in half down the middle, and then we'll have our piece. So if we lay it down and cut it tw at the 12 inch mark. Cut it 12 inches. And then you can just take your scissors and there's a fold right there because remember this is 20 inches long i mean 20 inches so then we'll just cut it down up the side so now this is a 10 by 12 piece and i have a couple of those already i have another one that i cut out okay so then we're going to take our embroidery hoop this is the outer part of the embroidery hoop This is the inner part of the embroidery hoop, and mine is really dirty. I need to clean it. It's been a while. <laughs> but we're going to take it. We're going to take the inside. Take a piece of stabilizer, a piece of fusible interfacing. And it's really thin, so be careful with it because it's really thin. And we are going to put our hoop on the top. And then we're going to take our outer ring. This is the outer ring. And mine has little, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a little arrow right there. 
And this part, even though it's dirty, it has a little arrow right there too. So I'm going to take those two arrow pieces and line those up. Now this, the bumpy side needs to be face up. The bumpy side needs to be face up. And then I'm going to use the other arrow piece to meet this arrow piece and try to center it and stick it in the hoop. And then kind of smooth it out without tearing it. Try to just get it in the hoop. Um, and then kind of pull on it a little bit, but not too much because this stabilizer is really, really thin and it will tear easy. But you just have to get a feel for it, tighten up your hoop enough to where you can get it in there and then you don't really have to pull on it. It's not super, super um, drum tight. And um, I'm going to have to come back. My phone is ringing. Sorry, guys. 